Well, hello again, everyone. Speaking God's blessing on you. I'm Senior Pastor George W. Reese, Jr., proud pastor of This Rock Christian Tabernacle. And on behalf of my wife, Pastor Mary E. Reese, and all of This Rock family, we just uh, welcome you to this broadcast again, praying that it has been a source of inspiration to you and motivation to keep going forward and living your life abundantly. Now on today, I don't know if you do or not. I don't know if you have a relationship with Jesus, with our God through Jesus the Christ, but God, you know, that we serve, he likes to hear us, to hear from his people, and that is through prayer. What is praying? Praying is one-on-one uh, -on -one between you and God. A lot of times people may say, even <clears throat> people new to Christ, they say, I don't know how to pray. And there is no um, uh, order, a uh, strict order that you have to pray by, you know, uh, uh, certain things. But one thing we know, and we know Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. He said, Jesus said, if you pray and ask anything in my name, he said, I would do it. And he said, I'm the only way to get to the Father right now. So to get to our Heavenly Father, we have to pray in the name of Jesus. And then we have that assurance when we know Jesus that God hear our prayers. And our prayers is uh, just what is going on in your head, your mind right now. Is anything uh, troubling you, disturbing you? Take it to Jesus in prayer. Just get down on bended knees if you can. Or you don't have to be on knees all the time. Sometimes you can be walking in the park. You can <clears throat> be on your job. You can just take a silent moment to pray, and, you know, uh, in uh, your home. Yeah, a lot of people have a, what they have, a prayer closet or a place where they go and they can be by themselves and uh, remove all the distractions from the world and just pray and just tell God what is going on. And then sometimes... <laughs> in your prayer, you just tell God how good he is. It's not always about asking and wanting things, but just to recognize what a sovereign God and how good he is and just to thank him for all his many, many blessings. Because no matter what is going on in your life, there's still blessings that are bound, bountiful in your life. And we need to take an inventory and stop and every day thank our Heavenly Father for what he is doing and just tell him that we love him. Do you ever tell Jesus that you love Jesus? You love God, you love the Holy Spirit. You can tell them that. And one thing about in prayer, <laughs> you don't have to be talking all the time because sometimes we miss it because even in our prayer life, sometimes we just need to be quiet and to wait and to hear from God. And God will speak to us we hear him in our spirit, in our soul, in our heart. And God will know the will of God. He'll, he'll tell you things and he'll confirm that he loves you and, and that he's working on your behalf on no matter what you are going through. And when you pray, it gives you strength to meet, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the challenges of today. <clears throat> we just need to trust God. And the way that we trust God is by talking to God, praying to God in the name of Jesus, and that starts building up a relationship. And then sometimes you can keep a journal of what you are praying and asking God for. And when they are uh, completed and fulfilled, you can say, well, thank you, Jesus. You did another thing, because sometimes they may not come when you want it, but he's always on time. And sometimes... We pray and we ask God for certain things. Sometimes we even forget what we prayed and asked about, but God will always deliver, amen, when you're praying in Jesus and his will. And when we are doing things according to the will of God and we have a good, strong prayer life, you will just see your life uh, just be elevated, you know, from this uh, earthly plane to a spiritual plane. And people won't understand why you have so much joy and happiness in your life. That because you know God and God knows you. <laughs> and isn't that something special when God knows you 
and you know God. So God bless you. God keep you. Until the next time, we love you.